Uh, close your eyes for a second if you don't want to see something gross. What is going on guys? We are back and look at we're outside enjoying this super nice weather and um, I, first I just want to say thank you so much everybody for continuing to like my videos and watch them even though there's no skating going on. I really appreciate it. You know my goal was to you know link up with my friends and help them get better and just make videos about them while I was recovering but obviously with the whole cor coronavirus thing that's not happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, there's a lot of things going on right now, you know? I had got surgery, I wasn't expecting to do that, wasn't expecting there to be coronavirus, so just thank you for continuing to support the channel while I'm going through the recovery. We're, we're getting through it. We're at two weeks now, we're still in the sling. I'm allowed to move my arm up and down and kind of like side to side. As long as my elbow stays close to my um, side, I can move my arm any way I want, which is good because it was getting stiff and now that I'm able to move it, it's, you know, feeling a lot better. I forgot to mention this, but one thing that does hurt quite a bit that I wasn't really expecting to is moving my neck. You know, there's a lot of um, veins and tendons in this neck area that are all supported by your shoulder. So moving my neck this way, oh, it's super sharp pain. Just getting this worked out during, you know, the recovery process is important because you don't want to get out of the sling in six weeks and then have to start everything from day one. You wanna only have to worry about your collarbone. So I like to just really kind of work my neck out all day, move my arm around as much as I can all day. So that way nothing gets stiff and uh, your muscles don't get weak. Cause right now turning my, my neck is, oh man, it's, it's really bad pain. I wasn't expecting that from this. And um, so we got four more weeks in the sling and then I should be able to take it off and start working out my collarbone. So we're moving along pretty good. Uh, that first week was super rough, uh, not fun at all. The second week was also pretty rough. It's only been the last, I'd say three or four days where I've started to feel pretty good. You know, I, obviously I'm out here walking. Before that, I wasn't even really walking outside. I was just kind of sitting around all day. So, you know, I'm, I can feel myself starting to get better for sure. Um, and then, you know, you make a movement and you realize, oh, it's not better yet. <laughs> so, but we're getting there. Um, and, you know, hopefully these videos, you know, it may not be enjoyable to you, but uh, I, my hope is, is that in the future, somebody comes across it and, you know, they get some benefit out of it because they're going through the same thing. So uh, there will be skate videos soon. I still have three videos kind of lined up that I could make, but ever since the surgery, it's been super rough on my body and just trying to do everything with one left hand is super irritating so just bear with me a little bit longer i just uh got to get through this you know so be prepared for just some more update videos if there's anything that you guys can think of um for me to make a video about just post it down below and i'll make a video about whatever if you guys want to see what i'm doing during quarantine or something let me know i'll make a video about what i'm doing I'm not really sure what else to do right now just um be safe out there i hope everybody's getting through this all right and um yeah wash your hands